how in the world do you create those really nice retro groovy types of designs on Etsy that you see everywhere right now? I mean, they're in every single niche you can imagine. Just the retro wavy types of fonts are just really trending. And even if we look into the teaching niche, there's so many teacher t-shirts that have this type of font and style on them. So today I'm going to answer everyone's question and we're going to hop right into this video on how to create those retro wavy and groovy types of text. And I'm going to be using one of my favorite softwares called Kittle. By the way, you can get Kittle in the link in the description below. And I'm going to show you how to make these really neat designs that are earning sellers well over 5k every single month in specific niches. There's so many niches this design is in. It's been a trendy type of design. And I do want to encourage anyone watching this video to try to put your own spin on this design and create something that is unique to your store and not like any other store. And hopefully, this gives you some design inspo and helps you in your creative process. Besides that, we're going to hop right into this and shout out to Steve in the comment section. He is still alive. I had someone email me and say, I hope Steve is okay because he hasn't been in any videos recently. He is still alive. He's thriving. It's a little bit in the winter time, so he's not thriving as normally as he usually is. I got a growth light for someone who suggested that in the comment section. Thank you so much for suggesting that. He is going to be growing in the winter time as well and subscribe for more content like this and more Steve in your life already. We're just going to intro into the next portion because I'm too awkward. So now we are back on my laptop. I am going to show you what we are trying to achieve in this type of design tutorial. So as you can see, this simple mama t-shirt is just a little bit slightly of a flag type of wave that the text goes into and the font follows. So I'm going to show how to make that effect using Kittle. So this is really cool and neat. And the first way that I start off on Kittle is for First of all, you can go to new project and that will populate a new canvas to design on. So I'll close out my other one. So what I'm going to start with here is just text and I'm going to add in my headline. So this is where we will import our text and write whatever we want. So I may just do art teacher because that's a really good type of niche to go into and design for. And I know the art teacher niche is a very good one from prior experience. So I am going to find a nice type of retro font. So I am going to look here. I know a few retro fonts that I've used in the past on Kittle, but I do want to just look real quick and see if there's anything different that may be kind of cute and funky as well. It looks like this Chickle font is really cute. I think it's in the running. There's a Gorilla font that is really nice as well. I am going to make this in all caps so we can kind of see the difference. <laughs> There's this font, that's a nice kind of groovy type of font. Shrick Hands, a good font for retro types of fonts to use. Sundays, that is a really neat font to use. Okay, so for the vibe I'm kind of going for, I feel as if Art Teacher in the Shrick Hand would be good. There is also a really nice font that is a little bit different than the Shrick Hand. <laughs> The Francis Super Soft, that is the font that's really nice. And what you can do is you can edit the font weight. I like doing it in the black and it makes it really, really thick. And then here's the fun part about Kittle that's really neat. You can add in transformation. So you can do a custom transform where you can make your text any way that you want. Of course, you wouldn't do it that way that I just did, but you can do a distort as well. So if you wanted to distort this item, you can add it and 
do whatever you want with it, which is really, really cool. And then you can make one part tinier, one part bigger, just stretch it any way you want. I'm going to click out of what I just did though. You can make it a circle, an angle, an arch, a rise, a wave, a flag. And the flag is actually what we're going to stick with. The rise you could do as well, but I personally like the flag best. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it just a little bit more of a curve here and I'm going to bring it out just a tiny bit. So I'm happy with that. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to command C. We are going to paste once. I'm going to command C and command V, which is pasting again. I'm going to copy and paste once more. And then I'm going to copy and paste again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to center these and then I'm going to tidy them up so they're all centered and aligned. And then I'm going to bring it to the middle of my canvas and I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger just for the sake of resolution and making this nice. There we go. So the next thing I'm going to do to kind of spruce this up a little bit is I'm going to play with the border weight. So I might just do a black and I may just add in a border. And then what I like to do as well is I like to take off the inside so you can have a border and then you can have just a no border as well so this is what makes it really really nice when we're designing is we can add in these fun elements as well there is also effects you can add on such as the block shadow we can do the line shadow we can do the drop shadow and then we can also do a detailed 3d of course we probably wouldn't need it in this case in this example but that's always an option I actually really like this line shadow. I feel like it just gives it such a neat type of look. So I might take this off and I'm going to take the border off. I'm actually feeling this line shadow more. I feel like it looks really, really cool and it's really different and unique. So I'm just going to copy exactly what I did. 73 and negative 90. So I'm going to do 73 and then I'm going to do the same here. So we're going to do 73. And then this last one, again, I'm going to do 73 once more. So I just love the vintage feel that this line shadow really gives this item. And the only other thing that I'm going to do in this is I'm going to play around with the colors a little bit. I think doing like a dark, almost brown would make this like really, really nice and a little bit different. So I'm going to do just a dark brown shade for all of this. And I think that's going to be it for this tutorial. So I'm just changing all of the colors over here. And I almost want to do like a burnt orange type of fading almost as if it goes down and kind of fades into color that goes to the brown. I think that would be really, really fun. I'm going to change this to that dark mocha shade. Also, I realized this whole video, I have not had the video on me this whole time. Hi guys, welcome. I'm still here. I just had a oops moment. So I'm just going to bring these colors up just a smidge. So I really love how vintage-esque this is. This is it for this video, but that is not all. There are so many cool features of Kittle that you can do. So we can always add in like a grunge texture if we wanted to do that as well. And we can kind of edit the transparency if we don't want it too dark or we want it a little bit darker. We can also delete this texture and maybe that one we don't like as much as something like this. So we can add in texture however we want as well to still give it that vintage feel on these t-shirts and then when we download this we will remove the background optimize quality and then we do 5000 by 5000 and that is it for this type of retro wavy type of design I think this is a really cute design and it's very different and unique and if I were an art teacher I feel like I would wear this but maybe that's just me as an art teacher or want to be art teacher one day or something like that but I think this is a really neat design and hopefully this video really helps those of you who are looking to try a new design this year don't forget to get Kittle in the links in the description description below and comment with any future video suggestions you may have. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video for more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video here.